Hey guys, hope you're well. So in this lesson, we are going to look at how to convert when we are talking about mass. So when we talk about mass, we talk about things like kilograms, uh, grams. If something is quite heavy, we even use ton. And what's the other one? Milligram. Okay, so the largest one. So for example, if you have one ton, one kilogram, one gram, and one milligram, this one is extremely heavy, okay? Um, so this is very heavy. Then milligram is the smallest. So this one is very light, okay? So what we're gonna do is you're always gonna put the largest one first. So we're gonna put ton. Then you're gonna put the next, the next biggest one, which is kilogram, and then it's gram. Let's spread these out a bit. Kilogram, gram, and milligram. Just like we've done with volume and distance. So now what's nice is that, remember when we did distance, you had to put a thousand, then a hundred, and then ten. But when we are busy with mass, it's a thousand in between all of them. Now, once again, if you go to the right, then we will use multiply. If we go to the left, then we will use divide. So just quickly make sure you've got that written down and then we're going to practice with some examples so that you can just make sure you've got that. Here's our first example. They want us to convert from ton to gram. So we're going from ton to gram. So that means we're going to the right. And when you go to the right, because of this arrow, we learned well we know that we need to multiply. So we'll say 3 and then multiply by all the numbers that we pass. So we're passing a thousand, and then we're passing another thousand. If you had to work this out, you'd end up with three million, and then we'll just say grams. In this example, we're going from milligram, which is over here, and we're going to kilogram, which is over here. So we're going to the left-hand side. So if we're going to the left-hand side, then we will divide. So we will say 450, Let's just get a different color. There we go, 450. Then we're going to divide by all the numbers that we pass. So what do we pass? We pass 1,000. And then we pass 1,000 again. And so if we had to go calculate this, then you're going to end up with 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0,000045. Here we have to convert grams, which is there, to kilograms. So you see how we're going to the left. We're going from grams to kilograms, so we will divide. So you'll say 950 divide by all the numbers that we pass. Now we're only going past 1000, so we'll just do that, and that's going to give us 0, 0,95. Two more examples. So here we're going from milligram, which is here, and we're going to kilogram. So we're going from milligram to kilograms, so that's to the left. And so because we're going to the left, we will divide. So we'll say 14, whoops, 14, 5, 2, 3, divided by 1,000, because we're going past there. And then we'll divide by 1,000 again. And this gives us 0, 0, 1, 4, 5, 2, 3. And then we must say uh, kilograms. So here's our last example. Now in this one, we are going from ton. Now, sometimes I spell ton like that. I don't know. I've seen different spellings of it. It's quite weird, but you know what I mean. We're going from ton over here to milligram, which is over here. So we are going to be going to the right. And so we will multiply. So we'll say 1, 2, multiply. Now, all the numbers that we pass, we're going to pass 1,000, another 1,000, and another 1,000. So we're going to say times 1,000 times a thousand, times a thousand. And so if you had to work this out, it's gonna be quite a large number. It's gonna have eight zeros, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll say milligram. 